Welcome to Fast Effect Double Speed Magic the Gathering. Here we've got two very spicy decks, Vince on Black Death versus Peter on Thassa's Lash, which leads out with a Chalice at 1, something that cripples many combo decks, but Vince has got a whole bunch of combos in there that don't really care very much about Chalice at 1. Uh, he's got the Dark Depths combo. He has the Painter Servant. Well, I guess the Grindstone, right? Yeah, and he also has Helm Leyline. So we'll see how this all plays out. But double LED. Narset digs for Peter, either for a combo piece or for some counter magic, perhaps. We will see, though, because he does have to reveal it. It's got to be a non-creature, non-land. Grabbing a Tefiri. Narset assembling a squad. Urborg into Vampire Hex Mage. So Dark Depths could be on its way. Now, Dark Depths from here would have no problem KOing Peter. Unfortunately, Peter's not going to have anything to be able to block and buy a turn. Otherwise, that Tefiri could just bounce the Merit Lage, but not going to happen. Worst case scenario, these Vampire Hex Mage can kill a Planeswalker. And looks like plussing to bounce the Hex Mage. And Peter draws a card. This double LED very often would just be game over. And an explosive deck, but Vince... Apparently not having what he needs. Could be something to do with the Narset or the Chalice. We'll see. Well, there's the Dark Depths. And Vampire Hex Mage coming down. So 2020 will be incoming. What can Peter do in the face of this? Down to 12 life. What is that? It was an impulse. Impulse digs. And impulses again, but that should do it. I don't think he's going to be able to do anything with this, these limited resources. Tefiri ticks up. An Ancient Tomb is played, but, I mean, end of turn. Making a 20-20, nothing really to bluff there as Vince takes it down. Vampire Hex Mage plus Dark Depths, not the fastest way. Didn't even end up using those LEDs at all. A lot of sideboarding there. Peter's got his work cut out for him to try and stop Vince from doing what he's doing. And it does feel a little bit like Thassa's Lash needs to uh, attempt to do that. So there's a lot of combo matchup relies on the overall speed. And here we see a Thoughtseize. You get a Chalice at zero. Instead of Chalice at one and then they turn around and Thoughtseize you. That does not feel amazing. There's already a Ley Line in play. And there's a Jace Wielder of Mysteries along with the, a couple of Paradigm Shifts, perhaps. There we go. Oh, there was a Stifle. Oh, interesting. So Paradigm Shift is taken. Stifle, an unexpected card, given how Chalice would typically be coming down at one. Tefiri. Utilizing this Lotus Petal sets Peter back one potential manner in the future to draw a card. And Vampire Hex Mage is ready to clear him. Tefiri not really amazing in this matchup. It's not shutting off any type of counter spells. 
and he is just going to be KO'd by this Hex Mage. I mean, he did draw a card, but for three mana, Chalice at zero, catching an LED. Shell Dock Isle now. One of the surprising legacy cards that are playable. Does not look like a card that would be actually good in legacy. It is a very legit card. Two damage coming in from the Hex Mage. Peter's got eight turns. That is eternity with this type of deck. It is much more likely that Vince will be threatening some other type of kill in that eight turn window, but you know, it's, that's your baseline. You're definitely going to lose if you don't do something in eight turns. Here's the Jace Wielder of Mysteries. And this guy does need to watch out for Vampire Hex Mage, which can kill him. His state-based ability only works while he's around, so this could create a complicated game state. But a Dark Depths has arrived. And Dark Ritual. Ill-gotten gains with this Ley Line is going to completely nuke Peter's hand. Getting back nothing. Thanks to the Ley Line. Hmm. Maybe I misunderstood that interaction, but... And it looks like Jace digs, but he's going to be facing down a 2020 during the end step. Impulse doesn't really help here. Making a 2020. And that is going to do it. Yeah, you need some type of bounce spell or something. Uh, but that is going to do it as Black Death assembles another one of its combos. That is all for this one. But don't worry, there is a lot more. Uh, you can check out our older videos, and we're always putting out new videos from ELD's Time Vault Games in Bellingham, Massachusetts. If you want to help the channel, of course, you can like, subscribe, share, tap that notification bell so you can know uh, the next time our new videos come out. Thanks for watching.